safety and efficacy of no-flip shank ring circumcision in young adolescent boys aged 10 to 12 years old in Kenya, Africa. Voluntary medical male circumcision has been shown to reduce HIV incidence in men by 50 to 60 percent in randomized clinical trials in Africa. Male circumcision also reduces the incidence of other sexually transmitted infections, cervical and penile cancers, in addition to having the immediate benefit of reducing urinary tract infections, phimosis, and balanitis in younger individuals. Given these data, the WHO and UNAIDS have recommended the inclusion of voluntary medical male circumcision as part of their HIV prevention strategies. As a result, 14 Sub-Saharan African countries have begun the scale-up of male circumcision services in 2011. However, less than half of the goal of circumcision procedures has been achieved by the year 2016. This was found to be due to the inherent challenges in resource-poor settings such as the lack of medical resources and trained healthcare providers to perform conventional surgical male circumcision procedures. This has led the WHO and UNAIDS to set forth two fast-track targets to achieve 27 million circumcisions by the year 2021 with emphasis on younger age groups ranging from 10 to 29 years of age. Device-assisted male circumcision has been proposed as the tool to achieve this target. The Shangring is a single-use disposable male circumcision device that consists of two plastic interlocking concentric rings a silicon padded inner ring and an outer ring. Since 2006, the Shang ring has been safely used to circumcise over 1.6 million men and boys worldwide. And in addition to its WHO pre-qualification, the device is FDA approved and has also acquired the European Conformity CE mark back in 2010. Shang ring male circumcision can be performed with either the original flip technique or the new and innovative no flip technique using topical or injectable anesthesia. The Shangreen can facilitate safe task shifting from physicians to non-physician healthcare providers due to the simplicity of the procedure. The WHO had reviewed Shangreen data from numerous studies and evaluated its safety and acceptability, where it was found that the device is safe and effective in over 99% of patients with no serious complications. A total of 574 participants were enrolled, of which 197 were aged 10 to 12 years. All participants were successfully circumcised with the no-flip shank ring technique. The procedure was successfully completed in all participants despite requiring a dorsal slit for the presence of foreskin conditions such as phimosis. Four procedure-related adverse events were reported in the target age group and nine in older participants. All adverse events were of moderate grade and managed conservatively. Mean pain scores 20 minutes postoperatively were similar in both age groups. Complete wound healing was demonstrated in 100% of 10 to 12 year old boys at the last scheduled study visit versus 81% of that of older participants. The vast majority of both age groups were very satisfied with the appearance of the healed penis post circumcision. We conclude that no-flip shank ring male circumcision in young adolescent boys aged 10 to 12 years old is safe, effective, and acceptable with 100% eligibility even in those with foreskin conditions such as phimosis. The use of the shank ring may significantly reduce the burden of services at health facilities in resource-poor settings. However, further studies are needed to assess its use in younger boys under 10 years old. Finally, we strongly believe that the shank ring will be a game-changer in the efforts to scale up male circumcision globally.